Hello there. Happy Friday. Um, I wanted to come on here because I have a class that I'm teaching tomorrow at the Aurora Armory in Aurora with the Aurora Cultural Center. And um, what I wanted to do was come on here to just like practice the painting of what we're going to do tomorrow in the class. Um, so what I'm going to do is I've got this beautiful painting here. Um, it's more of a spring painting and I want to create it more as with fall colors. So I'm going to start to use some, um, some oranges and some yellows in the trees. So, um, I just thought I'd do this live with you and see if maybe you wanted to join in and watch. So I see a few of you, um, are watching now and, um, I'd love to know your feedback and what you think so I have put my plate uh, my paints here out on my palette and all I'm gonna do is start to work on my background first I'm gonna work on my sky and then I'm gonna work on my water and then I'm gonna start to put in the other elements so I hope you can see this okay I might just adjust the light just a little bit um, to there okay so here we go good morning Jeff Okay, so all I'm going to do is I'm going to start to do the sky. Um, I want my sky to just be about like halfway down. And all I'm going to do is start to blotch in this color. So when you're doing a color that's darker and you want to make it lighter, you always want to put like the white first and then the darker color over top. And all I'm going to do is just make this like really really light in the background I'm gonna use lots of white and just like a little tiny bit of blue I'm not too worried about the actually how perfect it looks in the background because we're gonna cover it up with a couple trees and the rocks but um, all I wanted to do was just like practice this painting see what I can come up with there's a couple options I have for tomorrow's class but I really wanted to try something different today um, so that we have a variety to choose from tomorrow. So October 2nd, it is the beginning of fall. Down here in Toronto, we have only a few uh, trees changing color. A lot of you are saying the trees have changed color up there. So um, I thought, why not take this painting and then add in those like fall color um, leaves. So I have a canvas that's 1114 size and there is the so I do have the sides of the canvas. So hey Angie, I'm going to actually like paint the sides too. Okay. Hi Aunt Ginny, I see you. You guys can write in the comments too and if you have any questions I'll answer them as I go. And all I'm going to do is just like kind of paint this in. If you see this background here, it has like a little bit of it's not like perfectly what like white and blue. It's kind of like a little bit spotted. So all I'm going to do is add a little bit more white. I'm kind of making this background a little bit, a little bit messy. I don't really worry about it. Um, hi, Aunt Ginny here. <laughs> My number one student is in the house. <laughs> I've got a lot of, uh, a lot of you have participated in my class, like Angie, um, so it's so great to um, see you online today. Just come and hang out for a little bit um, as I paint this picture. And I will, um, after we're done this, I will put it up on my YouTube channel under Kimberfly Design. So if you want to uh, practice it later, you can, right? So good. I see you, Aunt Jenny. So here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna just paint this whole thing. I'm gonna do the sides as well because I like to have a, my painting complete. So if you look at this one, I did this. I do do the edges so that when it hangs up on the wall, it looks nice. And of course, we're gonna hang this up, right? Um, so just hopefully you can see that there. There you go. Some of you have comments, so I wanna make sure you get the painting in there. It's hard to see the comments and the painting at the same time if you're on the phone. So I'm going to just finish up. Sometimes it, um, I might add a little bit of water to my paint because it seems like if the paint's going on and it's a little bit dry, which it tends to be a little bit dry today, I've just got a little bit of cup, a cup of water and I can just use that to kind of blend the paints in a little bit. 
And all I want to do is actually like, I want to get all the sides. I'm going to actually, yeah, I'm going to spend time to just do these sides because I do want to do it right um, the first time because this is going to be like an, op an option for tomorrow's class. So it'll be, this will be like um, the demo, the, the demo painting. So what I'll do is in the classes is I set up, you know, a stand with a couple of paintings um, of what we can choose to paint. And then it's always on display. And then I also teach it online. I teach that um, in, in person live, like as we're painting it and I walk them through step by step, just like I'm doing now with you. So that's kind of how the classes go. Um, so I'm really excited because I haven't actually worked with the Aurora Cultural Center yet. So this is really uh, ex ex exciting for me. Cause I've always, um, I've always wanted to work there or do some work with them because, um, as most of you know, I grew up in Aurora. So Aurora is my hometown. And so I am super excited that this is going to be part of my day, um, tomorrow. So if you are interested in attending, you can, you're more than welcome to, um, purchase a ticket. I'll put the link in this post when I'm done. Um, or you can just send me a message and it's tomorrow from 10 till, I believe it's 10 till 2, 10 to 2 or 10 to 1, 10 to 1. Um, I'm putting a few clouds in here. If you want to, you can do that. Um, I just use some blue and just kind of dab it across. Again, I'm going to have some, um, some trees in front of it. So I'm not too worried about like the color. Let's use a little more blue. I'm just dabbing it across. I tend to use a lot of white, so I always keep my white close by. And what are you guys up to? While I, oh, hi Moyen, nice to see you. So I'm just gonna empty out some white here, guys, when I'm tight. So I'm just going to do a little bit of, let's make these more white so you can see them. White clouds. Um, yeah, so tomorrow is really exciting because the Aurora Cultural Center um, is just an amazing place to take classes. There's lots happening there. So um, my dad even takes classes there. And we are hosting our class tomorrow at the Aurora Armory, which is located right in the, um, right in the town park of Aurora. And what we're doing there is we're going to be setting, we're going to be setting up in the Aurora Armory, which is pretty awesome. I'm gonna move down to my water here. I'm gonna do the whole background first and then I'm gonna put on the other elements. So it might look like, well, what about the trees? What about the rocks? I'm not gonna worry about that right now. That's gonna go on later. So I always look at <clears throat> the thing that's the most farthest away, I'm gonna do first. And then the things that are the closest is what I put on last. So we'll work on the water and then we're gonna work on the rocks and then we'll work on the trees. So as things are in the background, well, we're gonna work on those um, first. And I always like, <clears throat> I always like putting the water, um, I'm gonna add different colors here. So I've got a dark blue, I've got um, a teal color, a dark blue and a light blue. And I'm just gonna go back and forth. Now, if you guys were in any of my classes, uh, you know, we just, just sort of break it down step by step. We make it really easy for you. So um, as we go, we do it like kind of all together at once. Um, and the exciting thing is also um, for those of you that are, you know, bored and wondering what to do with your time because we're all stuck inside. Um, <clears throat> I, am gonna, I am teaching classes like every week on Zoom. So you can just let, let me know if you're interested in participating in a class on Zoom. <clears throat> also, I'm gonna host a painting class for everybody on Halloween morning because a lot of the, we're not too sure what's happening with the kitties with their Halloween. So we're gonna do a painting that Halloween morning. So if you want um, to, uh, if you want further information about that, um, let me know. I'm just going to start to um, show that, promote that in a in a couple couple days, and 
I'm not too, I'm just kind of going back and forth so you can kind of look, it's kind of streaky. I'm gonna get the sides here as well. I make it really easy guys, like all these supplies are at the dollar store. So this isn't like, you know, anything that anyone can't do. Once you just kind of like try the class a couple times, um, you'll see that it's quite, quite easy to kind of get all the steps. Once you've done it a couple times, you kind of go, oh, okay, this is how I start. And um, we have some amazing people in our class. So there's lots of people in the class like, um, hey guys, more people are joining. So thanks, Jeffy, I love you. Um, and so as the, as, um, what was I saying about, um, yeah, yeah, the classes. So there's like awesome people in the class, right? So as we go through the class and go step by step, it's not just me like, you know, coaching you, walking you through step by step, but we all get to participate and share what um, tools and tricks and things work for us. So we, that's kind of nice is to have that community um, where we get to um, share some tips and ideas. Um, one thing about water, really cool. It's darker the farther it, it goes away into the distance, into the horizon, and it's a little lighter the closer it is to shore. So I am going to make it a little bit lighter with some white down here. And then I'm going to make it a little bit darker at the back down here. And I'm gonna add some more dark blue. My rocks are gonna come over, so I'm not too super concerned about making it go right to the edge. And then all I wanna do is get a little bit more white down here. I'm just using the brush like back and forth. If it's a little dry, here I notice there's not a lot of coverage. Sometimes I'll just add a little bit of water on top just to kind of smooth that paint in. Awesome. So you see we're kind of getting the background now. Let me just show you here. Classes are awesome. Thanks, Aunt Jenny. Yes, uh, Aunt Jenny joins us. We have quite a group of us, don't we? So great. So I'm gonna mix. I'm gonna switch to my medium brush. I was just using my my um, large brush there. I'm gonna switch to my medium brush, and the next step is I'm gonna work on these rocks. And the rocks are three colors, three or four colors. I'm gonna use a little bit of black, a little bit of brown, a little bit of yellow and white. And what I want to do with the rocks is there's a little bit like these ones look a little bit lighter on top, right? So if you look at the rocks, the rocks are a little lighter on top and a little darker at the bottom. There's a little bit of a gold tone into the, in them. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to draw the shape of my rock first. You know, I'm really glad that I've had this opportunity to do this live because um, I don't think I would have done this painting quite um, I don't know if I would have done this painting like this way this today. I was, I was kind of wondering what to do for tomorrow and, um, I thought, let's just do this live. So I'm going to just kind of sketch out these hills, these rocks. The rocks don't meet in the middle. There's a space. So I want to leave a little gap in between. So it looks like the river's flowing through. And I'm going to use a little bit of up here and they come to a point in the middle. Again, I'm not gonna have it completely touch. Sometimes if you notice like some of the background colors coming in, you can paint your uh, object in white first and then paint over it. White's a good color to kind of create like a barrier between colors um, so that you can paint on top. And I'm gonna paint another one here and I'm going to paint another one here. So I'm just making these little shapes. So you guys, if you want to try one of these classes, let me know. It's um, super fun. We get to chat. We take some pictures of our paintings, which I know most of you have been seeing this um, on the social media, on Instagram and on, on Facebook. But it's super fun. Just if you're like, I don't know what to do with my time. Let's hang out. It's just a great way to try something new. I'm just gonna look at it here. Let's see, this one I want out a little bit more. And I'm just kind of filling these in, making them a little bit. There we go. 
And again, I'm doing the side of my rock on my canvas, on the side of the canvas. Awesome. How are we doing so far, okay? Yes? Jeff, another Jeff has joined us. Okay, guys, here's, here's the thing. We've got our rocks, right? But they're just kind of bland right now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a little bit of yellow and brown together. As I paint this, I like to paint kind of, um, I used to want to paint like everything solid colors and have it like looking all perfect. But now I just like to just, even if I'm just kind of like sketching it in a little bit more, just to kind of give the idea of the shape and the color, it's okay. Like this one, if you look closely, like it's not really perfectly blended you know, you can kind of see there's blotches of white. I'm like, I'm okay with that. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna add a little bit more yellow on this side. And this side too. So tomorrow guys, yes, we're gonna be at the armory. And then there is a event I'm gonna host. Um, see, I got some blue in there, that's okay. There's an event I'm gonna host for on Halloween, which is going to be on the 31st. So I hope all of you can join us. That will be on Saturday, the 31st at 10 a.m. I'm gonna take some white and I'm gonna put it at the top of these rocks. And how is your Friday going, you guys? Are you keeping busy? How's your Friday going? Hi. Hi, Ashley. Ashley's joined us. So great, you guys. Yeah, so watch this. We're gonna just get these rocks in here. And then we're gonna start to paint our trees. Now, what I was saying before is that I've made this painting here, which is more of a spring look. I think I'm gonna make this one a little bit more fall, fall, folly themed. Um, that's a possible option of what we can paint tomorrow at the armory. Um, when I teach in Aurora tomorrow um, from 10 to 1 and we also have the Canadian Food Institute that's going to be providing like a snack and everything so um, hot apple cider and there's like a nice little dessert so we're excited about that it's gonna be super fun this is my first time this will be my first time teaching at the at the with the Aurora Cultural Center so I'm really super excited about that you know, I just love teaching these classes. We have a small group because we're staying safe with our um, limitations with COVID. So I've just added a little bit of a darker color underneath these rocks. So I've got a bit of a black and brown. When I'm mixing colors, guys, I always like to mix like, I always like to mix like a couple colors up, like together. So I don't always want it to just be brown I want to mix like brown and black or you know add in a different kind of color to it because I don't think that I want to have everything all solid okay cool we're getting somewhere the interesting part in this one is going to be what it's going to look like with fall leaves instead of like green leaves uh, let's just see so it's Friday before the weekend are we all excited for this weekend? Is everybody staying inside? Or what are we planning to do this weekend, you guys? Anything exciting? Day off, Jeff? Oh, that's nice. Good, good. You deserve it. You're still, you're working hard. You deserve it. Okay. So that's my rocks. I think I would add like a tiny bit more of white up here. And guys, I'm gonna paint this whole thing. So like if you have to do something and go somewhere and then you wanna come back and, and see the final piece, please do that. Cause this is going to take a few minutes. So even if you're interested in painting along, I'll leave the video up. It will also be on my YouTube channel. So if you want to practice it later, you can. Okay. So here we go. Now I've got some rocks. That's awesome. And now I want to put these like small, um, 
there's these small like little bushes in the back behind my trees. I'm gonna use that. I'm gonna use another medium brush that's clean actually. And I think I'm just gonna use a little bit of a light green. And I'm just gonna dab these in the back. These could be like green bushes. These could be, you could make them orange if you wanted if we're doing it more of like a fall theme. We're just trying this uh, fall theme thing out here, you guys. Let's see if it works. And I want the back color, I want the colors in the background to be really light so they look like they're off in the distance, right? Like you don't wanna have them too dark. You wanna have them a little bit lighter in the background. So I'm just gonna do them nice and light. And as I'm finishing up this little bushes, I'm going to start to think about where I'm going to put these like tree trunks and that is going to be done in brown and I'm going to use my small brush for that. So exciting. Okay. So I'm going to draw a couple, a couple trees here. I just want to draw the tree trunks. So I'm going to just draw one up like this. I'm using a small brush and one up like this. As I go like up off of the page, I seem to like, you know, hold my brush a little bit lighter as I go up. Just to kind of give myself these like little sharp little um, edges to my, to my branches. And I can use like almost like the tip of my, my, my brush seems to have a little bit of a point on it. I don't want these trees to be like just brown because their trees aren't just brown. They're not, they're more like they're, they've got like different tones and shapes to them. So I'm actually going to paint them in brown, but then I'm going to add some color. So if you look at these tree trunks, they're not just brown. They've got white and black in them. So if you can see that. So great. Like it fades away. Yeah, you got it, Jeff. See? Jeff knows. Jeff's also very artistic. Um, you know that, Jeff? We should get you painting and like drawing again. I'm just going to do this. Tree's like kind of going to go over top. So the trees are kind of going like this. And then I'm leaving this space in the middle for the water. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of white into my trees. I'm gonna have my, my, my light seems to be coming down a little bit, so um, I'm gonna add a little bit of white just to the right side here. And this right side. I'm not really making this too much of a big deal because there's gonna be leaves over top. And we're making this the fall version, right? So I'm gonna use like orange and red. And awesome. And then I'm just gonna go up like this. So I've got just a little bit of a different color. So the cool thing about this painting is that the supplies are like, I've just purchased supplies from the dollar store. So these are some of the craft acrylics. So I've used those. I've also got um, some brushes, even brushes from the dollar store. Like you guys can make this really easy if you want, you know? Um, I think I'm gonna make another leaf or another branch here. So I've used three colors in my tree trunks. I've used a little bit of black and brown, a little bit of white, and a little bit of brown. You know, I was listening to Tony Robbins this morning, and you know, for those of you that are, you know, that you don't enjoy your job, or you're not too sure if you want to stay in that job, or you're not fulfilled in that job, um, 
you know, what he really says and what I was really clear on was if you're doing something with your life in your career that is, you know, helping support someone or making a difference out in their communities, um, it's going to give you the drive to get up in the morning, right? So if you're not having that drive in your daily job, you might want to look at something that makes someone feel good, like teaching painting. I mean, people are learning or, you know, my participant, my, um, my, my students always say how much they had fun and that they never, you know, they'd never done this before. So they got a whole new experience and, um, they're just so proud at the end of it. And so that's what keeps me going, you guys. Cause I mean, if I think about it since I started this in 2018, I think I will have taught like probably 500 classes in like a couple of years. So, you know, I really see that in the more, like this motivates me, gets me excited and, um, and I love it. So here's what I'm gonna do. I actually pulled up a picture of a fall tree that I really liked. And I'm just gonna look at doing a fall tree with like, I want red at the bottom and I've used like some red and orange. I'm a little nervous to go on top of my branch right now because I just added black and I don't want it to get um, black into my red. So I'm just gonna use a little bit as I go. Okay, and then we'll start to fill it up. Now you can do like as many leaves as you want. I don't know, maybe you wanna add more leaves, that's fine. Maybe that you don't want to add as many and you want to have them like kind of bare, that's fine. I always mix a couple colors together, so I'm mixing red and orange. And there's also like a really cool way to do these is to actually switch your brush to something like this. So the end of the brush is a little more round, so you can actually just do like dots. And as I go to the top, I want it to be more yellow. And even white in my yellow to kind of get those like really folly colors. I'm gonna go right over top of my branches And I just spilled some water there and that's okay. And I'm just gonna add a little bit more red and yellow to the bottom. And I'm gonna go all the way around, just dabbing some color on. So we're kind of getting there. This is actually like a fairly easy painting, guys, if you just like do follow the steps where we did like the background first, you know, and then we did the, the sky, the water, the rocks, the bushes, then the trees. So as you go through painting and you do the step by step, you start to learn like the process of how to apply the paint in the steps that you need to take. So I've kind of got like a more yellow at the top. So I've got a, I've got a photograph here that I'm looking at that's got um, the leaves are, you know, yellow at the top and more red at the bottom. So that's what I'm trying here. And I've got this round brush. Awesome. Yellows. You like that? Okay. There we go. Gonna keep going. They've got there's some really cool colors out right now, right? There's like this almost like a vibrant red that's like a really cool fall color. I always want to pick up those leaves when I'm walking by them. Okay, so we're kind of getting there, you guys. What do you think so far? Thumbs up. So all I'm gonna do is just add in a little more leaves. 
I might go back and just go over it again. And what I'll do after I'm done this, and I'm gonna just touch it up probably just a little bit. I'll go back and I'll um, post it in the group, in the comments here, so you guys can see um, what the final piece looks like. And again, I'm gonna add a little more yellow. And then that's pretty much it, you guys. I don't think I would add anything else to this. If you wanted to, you could always like put a few little leaves down there on the hills and on, the, on these little rocks. But I just love this brush because I can just dab. So fun. Okay. I'm going to like go bananas with this brush if I don't stop. Okay, I'll add in a few little more um, little more leaves, but all I would do next is just maybe add like a little bit of fall leaves like down at the bottom, like they fell onto the ground. Because it's fall, the leaves are falling. So I'll just do a couple little leaves at the bottom. Like that. And then the only thing I wanna probably do is just touch up, maybe I would touch up my water slightly. So you could always take a little bit of um, dark blue and just go around your rocks a little bit. And I just can kind of blend it in slightly just to kind of give like a little bit of a different color, like the shadow of the rocks. So I'm just using a slight bit of this darker blue and maybe like a little tiny, tiny bit of black. And I'm gonna go all the way down here too. Sometimes if I'm not sure how to blend, um, like I'm not, I'm not sure how, which color to blend it in with, you can actually just take a, like a wet brush and just kind of smooth it into the color that you have in the background. And that's all I'm gonna do here. I just wanna add in a little bit. Cool getting there you guys I'm excited so this is pretty much it I, the last step what I always do of course with every painting is I always want to sign my name so I'm gonna put my name on this I'm gonna add uh, my name in the corner and then what I'll do is I'll put um, I'll put my name in the corner but because it's COVID like sometimes I would do this and sometimes I wouldn't but I would um, maybe consider putting the date on these days on anything that you do I don't know why this time um, really sticks out in our lives I'm sure so on the back I would just write my name so there we have it okay we went from like spring to fall I think these trees need a little bit more like leaves so I'm gonna touch it up a little bit and spend some more time doing that um, and then I'm gonna add a little bit more white um, leaves in there and I'm, I think I might touch up the water slightly and then that's it we're finished <laughs> So that's it, you guys. We went with, we went from spring to fall. So if you have any questions on um, you know any of the classes, again tomorrow we're doing a painting, a fall paint along at the Aurora Armory, which is located in Aurora, my hometown, which I'm super excited about. And we're also doing a um, that's tomorrow from ten to one. And then I'm also going to do a Halloween paint event for you guys. Um, if you're not too sure how to get supplies or where to get them, I have stuff, I have supplies, I have kits and everything. So you guys just let me know um, if you want to attend and that'll be on October 31st in at 10 a.m. So um, I'm inviting some of the kids to join as well. So, and it's Halloween so we can dress up. So that'll be fun. And um, that's it. I hope you enjoyed watching and I'll paint with you soon.